So it looks like Diddy's two sons, Justin and Christian Combs, are finally breaking their silence on how Diddy forced them into all this mess with him. This comes after both Christian and Justin were exposed in Diddy's new lawsuit for hooking up with girls below the age of 1-8 at Diddy's infamous parties and going as far as SAing them. Per the lawsuit, they've been in cahoots with their father this entire time and keeping everything a secret. However, some people feel like Diddy manipulated them into it while they were still naive. Apparently, Diddy was having these bizarre parties at his house since Justin and Christian were very young, and the boys spent a majority of their life with Diddy, only staying with their mothers occasionally. Woo child, there's a whole lot to unpack here, so I suggest you sit back and sip all this tea. Okay, so as most of y'all already know by now, Diddy's been trending for all the wrong reasons these past couple of days after another lawsuit was filed against him by a producer named Rodney Jones. According to Rodney, he and Diddy was supposed to be working on some music together for Diddy's album. However, upon his arrival at Diddy's house, he was repeatedly mistreated by Diddy and he witnessed some stuff that he would have never imagined in his wildest dreams. He accused Diddy of touching him, putting substances into his drinks, and then mistreating girls that young Miami and other people had recruited to bring back to his parties. Rodney also talked about how Diddy confessed to him that he had an affair with both Meek Mill and Usher. He said Diddy flexed to him about how he made Stevie J hook up with him with the promise of getting Stevie a Grammy for producer of the year on the Love album. Diddy also offered him $250,000 to purchase all the instruments he wanted and promised him ownership of his $20 million property, One Star Island in Miami, Florida. As if that ain't bad enough, Rodney also went on to throw Diddy's entire family under the bus when he revealed that both of his sons, Justin and Christian, are very well aware of everything that Diddy's been doing and they also participate in it. Chow, when I tell you my jaw hit the floor when I heard this, cause I mean, it's one thing for Diddy to be a monster, but the thought of his sons also being involved in his dirty work just makes it even crazier. Like what the hell is going on in that family? According to Rodney, he saw Diddy's youngest son, Christian Combs, and essaying a woman. But it gets even worse from here because his other son, Justin, was also involved in similar things. He was reportedly also in charge of recruiting and luring the girls into parties. In fact, Rodney went on to attach a series of photos from some of the parties that Diddy organized and you can see him and Justin making out with some of the girls. Now, once the lawsuit started making its way throughout the internet, Diddy, Christian, and Justin started to panic, and they even released a press statement to do some damage control. Diddy released a statement basically calling everything a lie and accused Rodney of making things up so he could get himself some money. Justin's team also released a separate statement that said, Justin Combs categorically denies these absurd allegations. They're all lies. This is a clear example of a desperate person taking desperate measures in hopes of a payday. There will be legal consequences for all defamatory statements made about the Combs family. Now, even though some people were disgusted by this and were demanding for all of them to be thrown in jail, some people also speculated that Christian and Justin might probably also be victims and that Diddy forced them into it. See, Christian was barely even an adult when his mom, Kim Porter, passed away. And allegedly, Christian was exposed to all of the things that Diddy was doing years ago, since he spent most of his time with Diddy. And after Kim's death, his only guardian was Diddy. So after discovering all of the things we know about Diddy now, it's kind of safe to say he wasn't the best influence to Christian. And let's not forget all of the rumors that were going around some time ago about Diddy threatening to blackball Christian's music career because he wasn't going to do everything that Diddy told him to. Diddy reported did the same thing to his older son Quincy, and people believe that this is why Quincy's career never really took off. Unlike his brothers, he stood up to Diddy often and made it very clear that he was not with the BS, and this pissed Diddy off. I mean, do y'all notice how he hasn't been mentioned in connection to any of this mess at all, but Christian and Justin are? 
I don't know about y'all, but it tells us a lot about what's going on in that family. Now, as for Justin, Rodney hinted at probably feeling forced and at one point even wanting to leave, but Diddy was not having that and nearly unalived him. According to Rodney, it happened at a writer and producer studio in California that Diddy had organized. Justin came through the studio with his friend called G. Per the lawsuit, G is a black American model and Justin brought him along to the studio that night. Well, during one of the evenings of this writers and producer camp, Diddy and Justin got into a very heated argument. Rodney said things got so bad that Diddy and Justin moved into the restroom, which was just adjacent to where he was to continue arguing. However, within seconds of them going in there, he heard multiple Right after hearing this, he and the other staff members who were around at the time rushed to the bathroom. But when they opened the door, both Diddy and Justin rushed out. But Justin's friends, G, who was brought to the studio by Justin, was on the floor holding his stomach. The lawsuit stated, Mr. Jones immediately went into a state of shock and feared that he would be shot next. After the ended, a crowd gathered around the restroom. When the door finally opened, Mr. Combs and Jay Combs exited. G was lying on the bathroom floor in a fetal position, holding his stomach and oozing out of his leg slash hip area. Everyone stood around looking upon G. Frustrated by the lack of aid to G, Mr. Jones dropped everything, ran to G, and immediately started placing pressure on G's wound to his stomach. After the ambulance came to take G, did he gave strict instructions to inform the police that he had nothing to do with the shooting. He also forced Rodney to lie to the police by telling them that G was shot outside the studio by a drive-by assailant. Rodney also said in the lawsuit that he still has the clothes that he wore on that day with G's DNA on it from the stains. He even went as far as to adding some images of the restroom. Rodney said the trigger was pulled by either Diddy or Justin, but they both keeping quiet about it. And considering that G was Justin's friend, he and Diddy probably reached out to him afterward and paid him a very hefty sum of money to keep things quiet. So as y'all can see, Diddy has successfully dragged his sons into this mess, and there's a very huge chance that they're all going down with him at the end of this. As usual, people have their own thoughts about this, like this person who said, I feel sorry for his kids. It's no telling what those kids was forced to do. The feds really need to step in and find out what's really going on. They said the twin girls ran away from home. It's no telling what trauma these kids have been through with their dad bad behavior, allegedly. But now I wanna know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Christian and Justin being involved in all this mess? And do y'all think Diddy manipulated them into this BS? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.